Welcome for RTL Online Trainings and Placements. In this session, we are going to talk about uh, one of the important question which we generally face in the interviews related for uh, human capital management. We know that uh, in human capital management, whenever we want to maintain the security, when we want to deploy the security for employees, we will be using the security profiles. HCM security profiles. We have around uh, uh, 10 types of uh, security profiles we have. What are that country, document type, job requisition, LDZ, organization. Organization includes our uh, legal entity, PSU, as well as the department, all our enterprise organizations. And also we'll find payroll flow, payroll person, position, transaction. This is all, we have different types of security profiles. But client uh, requirement is completely different. So they don't want to use any one of this security profile because those security profiles are not satisfying the requirement. So whenever we gather the requirement from the client and we will try to identify are there any of these security profiles will be satisfying our requirement, we can directly create a security profile and after creating the security profile we'll combine with the job role and we'll make it as a data role and we'll go for create a data provisioning rule and we will assign this data role to the employees that's how we will go for uh, providing the security right but if any of this security profile none of the security profiles are not satisfying our requirement then how we have to perform so now client would like to uh, show only some employees having some specific requirement means uh, we have to write the security profile person security profile here let me show you where do we write if the requirement is completely custom which is not uh, satisfying with the existing security profiles which are provided by oracle then what we have to do is uh, we need to go for writing the custom criteria we have to write sql query select statement we have to write let's go to the task here person security profile go to the task person security profile in person security profile when we try to create person security profile here so what is the meaning of this person security profile we are trying to include or exclude the data based on the person security profile we can configure that this person security profile is used to access only self-information if you want to include future people data or based on area of responsibility or you can configure based on your area of responsibility and you can also go ahead with manager hierarchy based on the person or assignment we can go ahead with the hierarchy here or we can go ahead with person type person type is nothing but uh, we have different uh, types right person types depends on the requirement we can choose let's say i'm going to mention rtl person security profile So you can go for manager hierarchy here, depends on the requirement. We can choose person level or assignment level. Here we can go for select here and we can choose the hierarchy here. Hierarchy content we can choose. But this all options are not satisfying our requirement. These all options are not satisfying our requirement. Then what we have to do is we have to go with custom criteria this option here is an option called custom criteria custom is nothing but a new custom is nothing but a new new criteria check this checkbox when we check this checkbox it will allow you to write the sql query here it will allow you to write the sql query so for example we would like to select the data from all people have Here we will go for right and click validate button. It is going to validate. Going to validate our select query here. 
So once we write this select statement, then we have to go with validation, showing us some custom criteria result in the following syntax messages. It's missing expression. Some expression is missing over here it is. Here we are getting the error message. So whenever we want to write a SQL query here, we have to follow standard format. So what is that format? For example, whenever we are writing some custom criteria, make sure that first you have to use table alias dot person ID or assignment ID because we want to retrieve the employee's information based on the person ID or based on the assignment ID. So we have to use either table alias dot person ID or table alias dot assignment ID in whatever the query you would like to go for, right? That you can go for specify. So what exactly it will do is you are trying to select employees from the table called per persons where date of birth is less than two date of 1st January 1990. It means before 1st January 1990, whose date of birth is there, only those employees information you are trying to retrieve from the database. So whenever we try to create a security profile by using this particular uh, custom criteria, then what will happen? It's going to retrieve the employee's information whose date of birth is before 1st January 1990. So now it is showing that custom criteria are syntactically valid. So we have to follow this format. So what is that format? Here you can go for write your own query and whatever the value it is returning, it's almost like a in, in option. We are have in SQL in syntax, right? It's going to have and it's going to search the person ID wherever it is exist, it's going to be retrieved here. So once remaining is common, once the security profile is ready, then we will be able to attach this security profile to the data role with the job role combination, attach the data role to the employees. According to this custom criteria, employees will access the data. Okay, so this is uh, one of the general requirement because when we are working in the real time, when clients uh, would like to go for include some data or exclude some data based on some custom criteria, then go to person security profile to retrieve the person's data, whatever we want to show to the employees based on area of responsibility or manager hierarchy or person type, or we can go with the custom criteria. Here we have to follow this format, go for validate and click save and close. This is person security profile with custom criteria option. Okay. Thank you.